my job consists me of having to take off my shoe you can just put it in and put it out imagine a shoe without the sole without this chunky sole <laughs> i have 39 million shoes i'm not just gonna wear one shoe everybody and their mother wants to buy these shoes this is the most uncomfortable shoe ever and scruff for the clip clip is my hair nicer your shoe it is very very comfortable my feet is like sick Hey, Brad Pitt. Do you guys know what fursuit is? It's not enough that man is wearing pleated checkered skirts. I am still gonna get promoted. Hi everyone, I'm Ismail and you're watching Cheek My Earthly. First and foremost, let me wish all my Muslim friends out there Selamat Hari Raya, Ma'af Zahir dan Batin, Happy Eid to everyone. This year's Eid is a very sad affair, but then what can you do? Uh, still life goes on. But, you know, okay, no more of that sad stuff. Okay, today I have an exciting video to share with you. We're gonna cover 5 iconic men's shoes that you should already have in your shoe closet. So, without wasting any more time, let me show you the first shoe. Okay guys, the first shoe is a black sneaker. Okay, so I honestly am very late to this sneaker hype because I have always been a slip-on person. My job consists me of having to take off my shoes quite often and I want to be fast, I want to be efficient, so slip-on does the job for me. But lately, I am slowly paying more attention to the sneaker. So I have a friend at work, you know that kind of into like the latest trend, she must have the latest thing, she must have the latest shoe. Okay, so she came to work with this Sakai times uh, times X Nike collaboration kind of shoe and I'm like why nice okay, let's call her 20 year old person a hey, 20 year old person nice uh, your Sakai whatever shoe <laughs> I know right? So what expensive ah? I mean like yeah. Hey Isma, you you don't like sneakers ah? Uh I do I am just more of a like a slip on kind of person. Uh then so you don't like sneakers ah? I do. I'm just like you know I want like uh, like shoo. you know oh my god you're such a loser man. Oh okay. I I mean I do, I'm just like you know I'm just I just prefer... How can you not like sneakers? Everybody likes sneakers. Oh my god, you're such a loser. Loser? Well, okay. Chill. Do you even have a Nike shoe? Like, come on. I do. I just prefer not to wear my Nike shoe. I just prefer to wear my slip-on. Like, chill. Oh my god, what a loser. Do you even have an Air Force One? Everybody and their mother have this shoe, Ismail. No, I don't. <laughs> so after that fiasco, this is my Nike Air Force One. I have given up and let consumerism take control of me. Yes, this is my new Air Force One. The Air Force One is actually a hybrid of three ideas, which is a combination of retro shoe, basketball, and hiking. Things that I'm like quite clueless about. My latest Nike is this really work <laughs> it worked up shoe. I love this shoe. This is the most comfortable shoe. It's an ultra fly knit. I shouldn't put it close to my face, it's quite dirty. Yeah, this is my favorite shoe. I wear it to work every day in this shoe. It's like it's almost like a slip-on, it's very comfortable. You can just put it in and put it out. This is prior to my fly knit, but the thing about this shoe is so I had this experience in the army. So all Singaporean guys have to serve, uh, serve, serve time to the national service. So after your national service, you have to attend your remedial training where they will train you. So I had to report to camp and because it's a once a year kind of thing, so I obviously don't know anybody there. There was like thousands of guys there. So I'm like the only one there who doesn't know anybody. And of course you need your training shoes, which in my case only brief the universe air like Never. So I came and then I changed to my training shoe because I have to do like training things. It was another Nike shoe. Nike, this is really humiliating for me. Imagine I was like walking, walking, I don't know anybody. Imagine this is my bloody soul, okay? Ah, uh, it's my L walking, it's my L walking, and then. <sighs> the soul decided to split from the shoe. 
and this was in front of like 39 million people okay 39 million people which i have no idea who they are they like don't even give a rat's ass who i was obviously like who cares right so i was there like my feet is in this shoe and the sole is like here so i'm like okay this is very embarrassing so what are we gonna do now i'm sure i'm sure nobody noticed anything they're they're like everywhere they're just like talking about you know like hey like i don't know what they talk about i was like this is what i did i walked back to the soul i pick up this bloody soul well the dustbin just happened to be right in front of so i was like ah. i've never felt so lonely in my life wow like to go through that experience imagine a shoe without the soul without this chunky soul it will become like a belly flat so i was in the army doing like training things in my belly flats i mean that's the problem you should not like not wear your trainers because over time the chemical re chemical reaction the reaction in the shoe decided that you know why ismail Nah. <laughs> so you have to wear your shoe. I was advised, Ismail, dummy, you have to wear your shoes. I have 39 million shoes. I'm not just gonna wear one shoe. And she's like, yes, you do. So I'm like happy with this shoe, but hey, like, you know, leave a little, okay? Like buy a new shoe, okay? Yeah. So I have this shoe. So I was planning to wear this shoe. It's not gonna break apart. And then the virus thing happened. Still haven't had the chance to wear this shoe, but this is the best good looking shoe ever. Yes, guys, you need this shoe. Okay guys, so the second shoe, you really need this shoe, okay? It's like, cannot, you must. It is the Converse Play. Shoe. Okay, prior to buying this shoe, right, I was with my best friend. At this point, I was like zen. I was like Oprah Winfrey. I said, I... I am never gonna buy any more things ever again. It's like I'm lying to myself. Never buy any more things. I have 73 pairs of jeans. I don't need any more things. <sighs> and then like my best friend, she's like, Hey, smart, let's go to the CDG place. I'm like, oh, okay, can, can. <laughs> you know what? When you shop with girls, right? It is like a mysterious battle, guys. So she's trying this shoe and then like she cannot decide. Oh my God. She's like, oh, like, should I get this shoe? Should I get like this size? Should it be like smaller size? What do you think? And then should it be a, like half size bigger? If I was to do like a cut wheel, will it like stay? I'm like, come on, buy the shoe already. And then maybe because I wasn't zen enough, I was like, oh, like, come on. Okay, best friend, I will buy this shoe. We will have matchy matchy shoes. Okay? And she was like, Okay, so I gave in to consumerism again and decided that, you know, I need this shoe. Surprisingly, it is very comfortable. After I bought this shoe, because I gave in to consumerism, right? So, okay, okay, can I, can I just put it one side? Okay, maybe I can plan to sell it i didn't sell it i decided to wear it you can see how dirty it is i didn't wear this shoe and then my friends at work were wearing the shoe 20 year old person friend also had this shoe another person had this shoe everybody and their mother wants to buy these shoes the good thing about this shoe is that it's unisex it's affordable it's 190 that i pay for this and i was like checking out just the original chuck taylor how much it was it was 110 dollars so for 80 dollars more you get this heart painted on the side of the shoe you get the box, you get the paper bag, you get to shop in the boutique. That's about it. I do have other pairs of Converse. This is a laceless Converse. Le elastic band mechanism. This is the most uncomfortable shoe ever. It's like I was bleeding here. It is actually a very nice shoe, but I was bleeding like crazy. Oh my god, is this blood? See? Oh my god, I was like bleeding. Oh, it's actually not black. I also have another pair of Converse. This is the Converse X John Varvetos. It is a high cut 
snake skin if you look closely it, it actually has that camo print this is the second most uncomfortable shoe ever but this is not but I also have a story wait I have a story also so the day that I decided that I was going to wear this shoe to work for the first time I was alone in the room minding my own business I decided to leave the room imagine this structure of a heavyweight human wearing like the most fancy shoe that he ever owns okay imagine i am this water bottle okay i'm wearing this shoe la is my wearing nice shoes i left the room and scuff with the clip oh and again i was alone i was like alone that help i just fell so many opportunities that I was lonely. I was so lonely that I was hoping that somebody catch this on CCTV. Someone in the computer room like, Oh my god, what a loser. This loser fell. Come on loser. At least something. I want to share that misery. So I was thinking whether I should share this misery of falling down in loneliness and in extreme pain or should I just suck it up and just become that loser that I am. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> So I went back to the locker and then this girl was like, Hey, it's my hair, nicer, your shoe. And then I was like, pain. And then I was like, well, I know, right? So the next shoe is a slip-on shoe. Okay, it could be any slip-on, notably the Vans shoe. The favorite pair that I had was this all black leather. I really love that shoe, but the shoe has left us. But like what I mentioned previously, my job, I had to like constantly take off my shoes. So I decided that I was just gonna wear slip-ons for the rest of my life whilst I was working there. This is one of my favorite pair. It's all black. It has this suede band at the side here and then inside is all canvas. Prior to that, I have this shoe. This is my favorite Tom's. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. It's striped and then it has this black leather at the back here. It is very, very comfortable. Something that I have that quite close to the van shoe is my pink patent ASOS slip-on. Not the biggest fan of pink, but everything that they have in pink is what I like. So unfortunately, Vans is not very comfortable on my feet. I don't know why, especially the latest Vans. I bought a pair of all black, just a normal slip-on. It has this cushion grip function where they have this thick sole inside. It's designed for skaters, so like when they do a cut wheel, like my best friend, the shoe won't fall off. For me, it is deadly uncomfortable to the point that I have cramps in my feet from wearing Vans. I have no offense to Vans. I love Vans, but I don't know why. I feel, I think, I believe that my feet is made in some illegal blacklist factory somewhere. Okay, my feet and well-known comfortable shoes doesn't go at all. Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks is not comfortable for me. Can you believe it? For a person who actually likes shoes and whatnot, my feet is like, nah. It's like, yes, you can have a lot of jeans, but no, you cannot have Birkenstocks. Dog mud. It broke. My dog, the dog mud that I had broke on me. It's not like I'm like a coal miner or I do some hardcore gymnastic execution work. <laughs> the dog might break. Less than a year, it just, ah, okay lah, it's my enough ah. I'm like sick of you wearing, my feet is like sick. I am sick of your feet wearing me, the dog might is saying. So the next shoe is a bit like a semi-formal kind of shoe. It's a leather shoe and this is a Broke. B-R-O-G-U-E. This is like the Brad Pitt of shoes. Look how good looking this shoe is. Hey, Brad Pitt. So the distinct feature for a Broke shoe is actually what you see here, all these decorations here. The more common ones is actually the perforated leather. 
like what you can see here those little leather cutouts makes it the distinct feature of a broke shoe this W shape here is called the wingtip it also serves as a function to actually make it stronger a stronger grip also to actually hide imperfections of the leather this pair of brokes is from a brand called Fasuk do you guys know what Fasuk is? Okay, my friend actually pronounced it as Fasuk. She's like, hey, Ismail, I have this voucher. It's from Fasuk. Fasuk? Yeah, Fasuk. I have this Fasuk voucher. Fasuk? As in Fasuk? Fasuk? Yeah, Fasuk. I have a voucher for Fasuk. What is a Fasuk? Spell that. Fasuk. F-C-U-K. Fasuk. French Connection UK Like who pronounce it as Fasuk? Anyway, so this W shape design here that I was saying is called a wingtip where it actually ends at the side of the shoe but in this case this is a top man pair but at the side here you can see that it actually travels all the way to the back This is called a long tip But the shoe that I want to share with you is this Mr. Brad Pitt here. How beautiful is this shoe? This is from Clarks. It is actually the same design feature of a broke. But instead of using the perforated leather, it uses a zigzag cut out and then it has all this stitching line and then it has this piping here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite shoes. So the last shoe I'm going to talk about is the loafers. It's a classic slip-on. It doesn't have any lace or any fastening and it's typically made either in suede or in leather. So loafers actually come in a few different designs. So the one that I have with me right now is actually called a penny loafer. GH Base, a bootmaker, he actually designed this loafer where he introduced this leather strip and then it has this diamond cut out here. It was popularized by the teens back then to actually put a penny inside the cut out here. It's meant for luck and also to make payphone phone calls. Like, I'm not sure how it works. Like how will it stay? Like, like you know, like how? So what, if you wear the shoe that it will stay? Oh, you know why? Because we don't have payphones now. We have smartphones. We don't need pennies anymore. So this is called a tassel loafer. It was actually designed in the 1950s. It commissioned a shoe company to design a pair of shoes for this actor, Paul Lucas. Paul Lucas saw a design that he liked and it has laces on it. But I think the idea is not to actually physically tie the laces. I don't know, maybe they're too busy. So they actually introduced this tassel. This is the kilt loafer. And you guessed it, it's the Scots that actually introduced the kilt on the loafer because, I don't know, they decide that, you know, it's not enough that men is wearing pleated checkered skirts, so they have to put it on their shoes as well. So they are responsible for actually having this. Okay, but the loafer that I want to share with you is this beautiful loafer, okay? Imagine that I'm like designing this loafer, okay? So I was like, oh, what am I going to do with this loafer? And then like, my boss, imagine she's like Becky, okay? Eh, faster ah. Like, how long? Ah, uh, sorry ah boss, like... I'm like, how ah? How? What, like, what, what, what loafer do you want ah? Anything ah, faster ah. Yeah, but I cannot just design anything. It's like, I have like, uh, I have like a penny loafer. Do you want like a tassel loafer? Or do you want like a kilt loafer? Like, you have to tell me these things. Why? Last time you go to school, your teacher give you all the answer meh. Think yourself lah. Eh, eh, si baiki ni. Okay, fine. Bila lah. Okay, so imagine it's like presentation day and then I have to like introduce this beautiful loafer to like the company, okay? Uh, Mr. Asos. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Asos. <laughs> Becky. What I have here for you today is like the epitome of design. It's like the most beautiful loafer ever I'm so proud of myself i'm so gonna get a raise for this design oh my god i am so gonna get promoted okay wait for it okay guys look 
this is the next in design. Jeng, jeng, jeng. It is a loafer that has the penny, the tassel, and the kilt. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful blue suede ASOS loafer. So, what are we gonna call this shoe? Call this shoe? Shoe ah, Um... I don't know. You don't say you don't know at a presentation, dummy. This is called the deriving shoe. Loser. Yeah, as you guessed it, this loafer actually has all these little bumps here on the base of the shoe. It is to give a stronger grip when you do driving. I drive. It will be very safe for you. This is what ASOS called it. It's a driving shoe. It's very smart. Like they cannot think like, okay, what should we call this? I uh, just put some bumps on it and call it the driving shoe. <laughs> Okay guys, it's getting dark so I have to wrap it up. So I hope that you actually enjoy all the different types of shoes that I feature for you today. So until I see you in the next video, bye!